Hey, do you want to make some epically cool Portal 2 maps? Then this is the tutorial series for you. Hi, I'm Stanley, and I'm a person. Step 1. Buy Portal 2, you dumbass. Step 2. Install the Portal 2 authoring tools. You can do this by heading onto Steam and ticking the box labelled Tools in the game's drop down list. Scroll down and you should see Portal 2 authoring tools. Now it will say it's a beta, and that's a complete lie, this thing hasn't been updated in like 10 years. This is just Valve's way of trying to say that it's a complete buggy mess. But don't worry, just hit install and run through the installation wizard. Also, I forgot to mention that this will work on Windows only, so if you're on a Mac- Mac? More like crack, which is what you take every day because you use Mac. <laughs> it doesn't work on Linux either, but Linux is cool, so yeah. If you're on either of these operating systems, then you can just go ahead and use the default level editor that comes with Portal 2 by default. It's okay. It's not as good as- the source engine, but it, it gets the job done, I guess. Step three, get a hammer and go. <laughs> and congratulations, you made your first Portal 2 map. Okay, uh, that was a joke. What you actually have to do is click on Hammer World Editor. Now you should get a screen that looks exactly like this. If everything looks like it's from Windows 95, that's because it is. The Portal 2 authoring tools runs on the Source engine, which itself is a heavily modified version of the Quake engine, which came out a long time ago. So yeah, this is some antique sh** right here. Click File, New, and you should get a window with four viewports and many other buttons displayed. Now, if everything looks daunting to you at first, don't worry, because you won't be using around 95% of what you see here in this first tutorial. Step 4. Configure Hammer. Now, this step is optional, but since this is a fresh installation of Hammer, I'm going to change some of the default settings to better suit my needs. I do recommend you do this as well, as you'll have the exact same layout as me, and you won't get confused later on. Perfect. Now you should have the exact same layout as me. All I'm going to do now is press Ctrl A on my keyboard to center the four viewports. Step 5! Create a room. But before we do so, however, we need to understand the different viewports. This is the main 3D viewport, and the remaining three are the different 2D grid views. The top, the front, and the side. The 2D grid views are where you create the geometry of a level, and the 3D viewport is where you view the actual level. Now you know how the different views work, let's start off by selecting the block tool on the left hand side and dragging out a square in the top 2D grid view. Resize it to the desired height in the front or side view and press enter. To view our level so far, hover your mouse over the 3D viewport and press Z. Please note that I say Z instead of Z because I am British and if you don't like that then you can f*** off. Anyway, if you press Z, you should now be able to look around with the mouse and move around with WASD, a bit like a first person game. Now, so far our level is just a bunch of lines connected to each other, so to change this, click on camera and then click on textured. You should now see a texture that Hammer gives us by default. To change the default texture, head over to the right hand side of the screen and hit browse. You should now see a window with hundreds of different textures to choose from. In the filter box, type in wall and find a nice wall texture. I'm going to choose this one. To apply it to a level, click on the selection tool, click on the level and then press apply current texture. This will replace the old texture of our level with the new one. Now currently our level is just a block, not a room. So to change this, click on the block with the selection tool, click on tools and then make hollow. This value doesn't really matter, but I'm actually going to change it to minus 64 to hollow outwards. Press enter and congratulations, you made your first room. Step six. Create a spawn point. To do this, click on the entity tool on the left hand side and click somewhere in your level. 
I'm actually going to move the spawn point to the center of the map in the top view. Step 7. Save your map. Hit file, save as, and call the file something like first map, test map, whatever, as long as you don't put spaces in the name. If you would like spaces in your map's file name, use underscores. Step 8. The final step. Run your map. Hit file, run map, make sure everything is set to normal, and press enter. You should see a command prompt appear and quickly disappear. If you see nothing in red, it means you have successfully compiled your map. However, the map isn't actually running. This is because Valve is dumb. No really, I'm not joking. This is a bug that happens in certain versions of Hammer. To fix this, you actually have to click on Expert, and then press Enter. It's a bit weird, once you've done that, Portal 2 should load up along with your map. Yay, it works! Now while we're here, let's configure some settings for Portal 2 to better suit Hammer. First off, click on Options, Keyboard and Mouse, and enable the Developer Console. The Developer Console is extremely useful for debugging and optimizing levels, and we'll be using it a lot. Next, click on Video, change the display type to windowed mode, and change the resolution to something like 1280 by 720 This is to prevent Hammer from crashing. And there you go. Now you know the very basics of Hammer and the Portal 2 authoring tools. In the next tutorial, we'll be talking about how to add basic puzzle elements to our map. But in the meantime, thank you for watching!